uh, we have a problem in this country with respect to health care and how much it costs. Before I get down to the drug price problem, let's recognize that we spend about 18% of our GDP on health care. There was a health affairs article recently that said a trillion dollars of that is wasted. A trillion dollars. Just to put that in that context, that's twice as much as it takes to run all of Medicaid. It's more than we spend in America on education. So let's start with the fact that health care is expensive. Now if you want to talk about drug pricing, um, the fact of the matter is if you look at the Part B benefit, which mm -hmm. is the issue where they want to index prices, it has grown over a lot the last few years, but a lot of important new medicines have also been brought to the, to the marketplace. As far as drug pricing transparency, I would actually argue that one of the challenges the industry has is it's the only part of healthcare where the prices are really transparent. Everything else is pretty much opaque. Well, hold on, when I go to the doctor and he writes, or she writes the script, right? and then I go to Duane Reed or CVS or wherever I go, I usually don't know until it goes up to the cash register how much I'm going to pay. That's exactly the point I'm making. I'm saying the list price from out my door is the only transparent thing in the whole system. I'm making exactly your point. But it's when not it transparent goes, to me. No, no, no. I'm actually trying to make a distinction, Andrew, okay. between the supply chain. You talk about right. Dwayne Reed. I yep. don't own Dwayne Reed. Right. There's a lot of people between my back door and the consumer. And as we've said, and if you look at my securities filings, um, the aggregate discount across my U.S. portfolio is 50%, all right? So 50% is the aggregate net discounts and rebates that I'm paying across my portfolio. Now, you're talking about where does that money go? Yep. And we have to have a rational conversation about the supply chain. How much should be kept by PBMs? How much should be kept by pharmacies? How much should be kept by insurers? And by the way, how much you pay is largely a function of how your insurance policy is set up. So this is a complicated issue, and I just want to say, I get into these conversations, and the first thing I want to say... We've been is, listening to uh, Merck CEO Ken Frazier at the DealBook conference being interviewed by Andrew Ross Sorkin, talking about drug pricing, saying the only transparency in the whole system is the price that Merck sells that drug at after that. Um, you don't really know how much each part of the supply chain is going to be paid. And I think that's a really good point because you go to, as Andrew mentioned, a CVS Caremark versus another PBM, and the price can be completely different. Consumers really don't know, and that's a big part of the problem when it comes to drug pricing.